The project approved by Cabinet will be funded through a grant of 170,000 U.S. dollars by the Republic of South Korea. So far, 28 low-income households have been identified by the Ministry of Social Development to benefit from this initiative. Most of these households are within communities in St. Andrew and St. Patrick. Speaking in Tuesday's parliamentary sitting of the lower house, Economic Development Minister Oliver Joseph said training on the use of these panels will be provided. The solar lights will be, panels will be installed on the houses so that they can generate electricity without having to pay a huge bill to the current provider. This project, is a speaker, will start at the end of this month. That is, at the end of February. Government is optimistic that this project can be implemented throughout Grenada. It's a pilot project. If we are successful, the government of South Korea, we can use it to apply for other funding agency that deals with renewable energy once it is successful. And we have approved three providers to provide to do the, inst the complete installation of the solar panels. Government is also making a concerted effort to liberalize Grenada's energy sector. Minister Joseph says government is endeavoring to obtain even more grant funding under the Green Climate Fund that can be used to finance sustainable projects in Grenada. Colin Campbell, GBN News.